and Mervyn Taylor moved that the business of the day be adjourned to discuss the matter. The Count Corolla refused. The subject matter raised by you and Deputy Bruton uh, has to be regarded as ongoing and cannot be regarded as having arisen suddenly or as likely. Please, 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 please. It is, it is a subject that has to be regarded as ongoing and cannot be regarded as having arisen suddenly or as likely to develop significantly before the Doyle will in practice have an opportunity of discussing it. Order, allow the chair to make its point. Allow, furthermore, furthermore, I do, please deputies, I, I do believe, I do believe that the matter raised is so vast, please. Did you write that stuff, John Corley? I do believe that the matter is so vast and wide, please, Deputy. I, I am my own man in this chair, Deputy Quinn. I, I'll prove it any time you like it. The matter raised is so vast, please, Deputy Quinn. Don't try, don't try and shout me down. Sir, you closed this off on the any vast, other opportunity. The matter is so we vast. No to do. The matter is so vast and wide-ranging that, in my opinion, it can be raised properly by a substantive motion in this house. We can't now. This is As the Taoiseach attempted to respond, there was further disruption. What I said, Count Corder, was that the affairs of this company have been before this house on a number of occasions have been debated at length. Uh, I know you would agree with me, Count Corla, when I say that the deputies opposite who are interested in the matter have a variety of ways in which to raise this matter. <laughs> and I want to assure the House, Count Corla, if they avail of any of these methods, the government will respond fully and adequately to any Following further requests from the Fine Gael leader and Deputy Taylor for a debate on the matter today and in government time, Dick Spring made this suggestion. John Corla, oh, as, as, as you have not seen fit, sir, to allow standing order 30 motion to be implemented, as the Taoiseach does not seem to want to give government time, sir, I now want to offer one hour of the Labour Party's private member's time Tonight. to allow time this evening for this matter to be discussed. This matter has very serious implications both for people in this house and for outside this house for a big industry. And I believe we should be discussing it today, not running away from the issues. Here, here. Well, that would be a matter for the whips. Sir, 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 could I ask, could I ask the Taoiseach if the government will provide time today to debate this issue? I have already indicated that if the deputies opposite avail of the many different procedures open to them to raise this matter, the government, the government will be very happy to facilitate them in any way. The government will be the government happy to facilitate them in any way, and as I say, to respond fully to any matters which may be raised. As the Kian Kola attempted to proceed with the order of business, there was uproar on the opposition benches. Deputies insisted on a debate today. The Taoiseach insisted they must go through the proper channels. I, I want to say, I, I, I do not believe, I do not believe that this House, I do not believe that the procedure of this House should be dictated to by a television program, the motives, the motives of which, the motives of which I have my gravest doubts. Could I ask the Taoiseach if he would not consider that the government itself and the Taoiseach in particular has an interest in having any of these allegations cleared up quickly and that it is in the Taoiseach's own interests that there should be a debate on this subject immediately initiated by the government showing that the government is prepared to respond quickly in a matter of this kind. Despicable suggestion. A despicable suggestion. I reject it. I have, I, have, I have dealt at great length with the matters of this company here in question time. The matter has been debated from time to time here in the House. The matter can be debated again any time in the House, but it will certainly not, 
it will certainly not be debated on the basis that I have anything to answer for. I, so, so, sorry, sorry. Patricia continued to insist that the matter couldn't be dealt with today. The company won't go away. The tapes of the programmes are still there. There's absolutely no reason. There's absolutely no reason to ride roughshod over the procedures of this house. This house, this house, this house has the procedures and the mechanism for dealing with this or any other matter. I am inviting the House to avail of those procedures and I am undertaking that the government will facilitate and fully respond to any. But I do again object, I do again object, Deputy Bruton, to, to, your, to your accusations. And if necessary, I will begin to reply in kind. After further interruptions, the Kyung Korla adjourned the House for a quarter of an hour. When the House resumed, the Taoiseach made this suggestion. I believe that the government is entitled to some time to uh, prepare the fullest possible information for the House. Apparently, I have, didn't see the programme myself, because I try and avoid uh, looking at programmes of that kind. But uh, I understand, I understand that the, uh, I understand that the programme ranged over EC matters. Uh, customs matters, financial matters, uh, and various other matters. So I believe that it'd be, it would be only, only common sense that the government uh, would have time to uh, prepare as full as possible brief uh, on these matters for the House. So my suggestion is that the government would be prepared to make a limited amount of government time available tomorrow, which if necessary could be added to private members' time, and that the whips should meet to see how best that uh, can be arranged. Satisfactory? Yeah, may, may I say uh, that that is a reasonable proposal, and there would have been lots, a lot less disorder if the government had the wit to make that. I take it then that a that, that suggestion is agreed. Let there be no more comment. The minister for Commun